Well, here we are. It's the first video on the Nice True Automotive channel. And I thought for today, I would actually have a look at the stag that I'm borrowing um, from a good friend of mine. Um, so at the moment you join me in the middle of Cotswold somewhere, it's sometime after work. Um, and I have this absolutely gorgeous um, Triumph stag. Um, so it's the original Triumph V8 in it. Um, and it's got just so much noise. I love the car. Like this is my dream car. This has always been my dream car. Um, and I finally get to drive one and live with one and it's been an incredible experience um, to do so you know it's, it's great driving a car that's you know nearly very nearly 45 years old um, it's a totally different experience than any sort of modern car anything I've driven before and lived with certainly um, it's, it's a far cry from the Volkswagens I've been using so um, I just figured I'd give you a quick walk around uh, a couple of photos and things that we're doing the Triumph Stag has been my dream car ever since I was little. Um, I remember I fell in love with the Triumph Spitfire first. That's where this whole classic car thing started with me. Um, and I saw this little tiny, it was I think a Mimosa Yellow Spitfire 1500 um, at a local ish garage. Um, and I, I really wanted it, it was about two and a half grand. I was told at 14, you can't have one. Too young apparently, who knew? Um, and um, I started looking for them at car shows, never seemed to be able to find one. And then I kept coming across these stags and um it was only when i went and sat in one um for the first time i thought oh this is really comfortable i'd love to have something like this um and then i actually ended up um driving um a very 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 good friend of mine um their stag they, they taught me how to drive an auto because i'd never driven an auto before and we drove around the outer perimeter at silverstone it was probably um at that point it was like the best experience i'd had um in a car as well and um, I fell in love with it, the sound, the drive, the, the everything. Um, and then they let me out in the parade lap at Silverstone as well, at Silverstone Classic. Um, and um, what an amazing feeling to be able to drive it at some speed. I kind of got used to driving autos at that point as well. Um, and then the opportunity to borrow this one came up and I, I have to say it's probably the nicest thing anyone's ever done um, to actually let me out in their Triumph Stag um, on my own and um, yeah I I love I love this car like I keep saying it and I know I keep saying it but it's true so as with any old car she has niggles but do you know what I absolutely love it it adds to the character it adds to the charm um, I absolutely love love this car um, I am going to be really sad when I have to give it back which probably won't be too long away um, but you know, the time that we've had together so far, we've been to loads of shows. The atmosphere of people as well, when you go and meet them at shows, it's just incredible. You know, people will come over and talk to you about the car and um, ask questions and they're actually genuinely interested. Um, and, you know, it looks different. It is engaging. It is just a wonderful, wonderful experience. You know, even driving down the road, people are waving, um, thumbs up, smiling. Um, you know, it's, it's a car from a lot of people's um, Sort of youths as well you know it might be their dads or their uncles might have had the car um, and it's just been it's just been so nice um, to actually be able to talk to people about something that I genuinely adore um, right now I can say that it's quite warm we've done a bit of driving um, to get out here as well because we thought we'd go for a bit of an explore um, and um, yeah the sun is setting so I'm gonna have to get some photos anyway um, but yeah it's, it's just just the most wonderful experience I think I've had driving anything so you might be able to notice here that uh, this stag is a soft top, uh, which is very cold when driving, but it's worth it. Um, it's a really nice, um, nice feeling, especially when the sun's out and it's shiny and it's nice and warm, um, but it still does get quite cold on your neck, um, but it's definitely good. The other really, really cool thing um, about this car is obviously the V8 engine. It sounds amazing. The little burbles and little pops when you let off is just it's just an incredible um, sound, to be honest. It's very distinctive, you know, even at the fuel station, they were all stood waiting for me to leave. Um, but you know what, I've, I've loved this car. You know, the chrome details are gorgeous. Um, it smells like an old car, it drives like an old car. It's got a choke. Um, it's got a heater blower, which I only just found out how to work that one out. Um, you know, even the seatbelts have got their own little crazy hook, um, which is pretty wicked. Um, and I have to say, this car is still my top bucket list car to own 100%. I've loved them for a long time. 
So I thought I'd just show you a little bit of the inside. So these are these really cool seatbelt hooks as well up here. Um, so you can't lose your seatbelt. Perfect. Um, we've also got um, some really great and rather basic dash displays. So now I don't think a dash gets better than this. Um, it is so simple. Uh, the time isn't right. Um, it's just such a simple dashboard, a simple design. Uh, it's got the typical Triumph wood everywhere. Um, you know, we've got our heater blowers, the radio doesn't work, but hey, who needs a radio when you've got a V8 engine, right? Um, we've got a four speed manual with overdrive um, and electric windows. Um, it was this, this took me a little while to get used to, this choke. Um, that took me a little while to get used to, but we got there in the end. Um, but yeah, but this is just the, the piece of the resistance of the Triumph Stag is the steering wheel. It's so simple, it's so lightweight. Do you know what? It does exactly what it needs to do. Okay, well, I guess it leaves me to say uh, thank you so much for watching and taking your time out to actually see what I've been up to with the Stag, um, where I've been, having a look around it and joining me for that. Um, this is my dream car, so it kind of made sense that it was the first thing that I do. Um, I hope you don't mind the rough cut of this video. Um, I hope that it's come out okay. Uh, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, do all of the things that every YouTuber asks you to do, uh, because why not, right? I mean, that's the whole point of the game. Um, and I will see you guys at a show or another video feature very, very, very soon. Um, take care, and I'll catch you later.